There we go. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Neat. Very cool. That looks sick. Awesome cape. Beautiful. That is a nice cloak. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wolf's Side channel. Today, with a very special topic, the Bounty Hunter Cape Stream Summary. Yay! So, Henrik showed us the new Bounty Hunter Cape. So first I will show you what Henrik showed us and then I will go through the random questions and answers list. We had our second Unreal 5 PTR last week, as you know, and we have got a lot of awesome feedback from those participating. Overall, uh, a good step in the right direction when it comes to performance in general, uh, loading stalls in the world, and also thanks to the battle, we got a lot of great data on the servers and also um, this one freeze that happens mid battle on client side is that quite a few members or players got uh, that gave us that report also is obviously very valuable this weekend. So the plan is we are currently working on debugging that. If we don't find the exact reason, we actually have a plan to um, have a dev build ready and do another session so we can uh, in real time monitor all the data, which can be very helpful and will also point out the main root cause of such freezes. There we go. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Neat. Very cool. That looks sick. Awesome cape. Beautiful. That makes it, the artist very happy. You know, the pressure is always high. They they work hard and uh, want to deliver cool stuff, right? So, um, but yeah, I really like this one as well. I think they made a really awesome job. And you know, it's the theme. The Coraxi theme for a bounty hunter. You can see the theme in the cape also, right? That is a nice cloak. Awesome to hear. And like I said, this is just one of a few new capes coming in. Uh, every task have a cape reward and they all look really cool and unique in their own way so yeah this is one of them king of the north do you see what i mean right you see a little bit of the dark inspiration from john snow right uh, it has that little feel of it right but yeah fur here is more feather type because it's the Coraxia theme right damn got me a juja <laughs> lotus lotus very blood bone and a cape any chance to get a cape with a full hood on it um, it's a little bit trickier, but you know, we are expanding the cape expertise <laughs> now when we are adding a, a pack of it. So there will be more absolutely over time and we will see how we can make it happen. It's always a matter of question of clipping and how they fit together. All of that is quite a challenge, right? But uh, so far, so good. Damn yeah, man, red players will now be outside town, like inside a stronghold that players can't reach. How do we expect people to bunt on players in their own stronghold? I mean, that's been the thing all the time, right? It's been always been like that right um but yeah i mean if you are closed in in your keep obviously it's not very easy to go in there and, and get you right that's why we made uh, obtaining bound hunter much more quick easier and shorter range as well and team up and you can get new one faster so you know you have a better flow of doing more bounties in different ways what you must do to get it you have to do bounty hunting to get this cape those coraxi coins you know is this the raptor black feathers from Elden Ring? I mean, you can see some resemblings, right? But the main target was when we tried to find a suitable cave for this was, like I said, Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Was worth the wait. Thank you, Henrik. Fine work indeed. Awesome to hear. Awesome to hear. We're always a little bit nervous when we present these new stuff. You know, you never know. You never know. But um, I'm, 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 I'm proud of the artists. They are really good. I think they are doing an amazing job. <clears throat> I can't say exactly how many coins it costs. Uh, I, I have to verify. I, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I, I'm not 100%. But it's quite the achievement. Like I said, it's supposed to be an achievement to get the capes, right? The capes currently are the high rewards for all the tasks. It's supposed to be quite the commitment. So whenever we get it, it feels damn good. <clears throat> and everyone gonna see, holy shit, they got that cape, you know? Okay, so now to the random questions and answers list. MD users will try now. FSR support will come in the near future, but it's not 100% sure. Star World wanna hear feedback from the community regarding daggers. The new dagger nerf that will come with the next pet. The next PTR test will be in two days. When you watch the video right now at the release date, two days, so on Monday. A little in-game event will be scheduled to monitor the client performance, but they will announce that before that. If the continent will not be enough, the world will be expanded. The Unreal Engine 5 trailer is worked on. After after the epic, ga uh, epic game release, they will patch in ability and special moves and they also will change the combat that you can't spin around like a ballerina. But it also depends on what the community wants to see first. Then also some very important info that Henrik answered every time. There will be no wipe of this game ever. Don't even suggest that. It will not happen. It didn't happen in the past 12, 13, 14 years. The whole area of Mortal on the one, it will not happen. Wipes will not happen. 
Don't even discuss that. Don't get that out of your mind. This is wasted lifetime. Special moves for bows will also come. Second character system will come with the diva system, but this needs to be planned more out from Star Wars. And Henrik also said that, that they didn't even plan this and the technical integration of that is a little bit more complicated than just make another slot. People are frustrated. Henrik understands that because there was no patch in a long time because they are focusing on Unreal Engine 5. The veteran system will come and will give you additional skill points. Ships will also come to the game, but this time Hendrik said far in the future. Which is from my understanding a very realistic view on that. Hendrik also said that they don't need giant numbers to reach the break even point. In combination with the stuff he said a few minutes later, it sounded like if you don't like the game play something else. The task system will be further expanded, especially with the next patch and they will build up on that. And the stealth system that they will implement will not make you invisible. Just for example, if they implement the crouch uh, function and stuff like that, you can just normally hide as you can normally hide. You have no, no magical, um, you are now invisible stuff and shit like that. The new player experience will be improved. Let's see, we will test that with uh, my uh, father or my girlfriend and we will test that. Marketing will start after the epic game patch. The maximum standing that you can reach with a nation will be increased that you have higher numbers there. There are currently about 30 developers us. This is a little bit contrary what Henrik told us six or seven or eight months ago with uh, they are 40 but I, I don't know maybe he meant 40 the whole company and th just 30 developers that makes more sense. Henrik explained that Mortal is also for PvE only players. Sorry to destroy your illusions Henrik but uh, this train is is long gone. Nearly nearly 95% of, of the, the real PvE only players are long gone. They, they play something else. The support package is not regional based. The subscription will be regional based. Tower shields need more investigation before they nerf them. Haven will be improved and Haven will be free to play. Thursars are underperforming, so Thursars will get a buff. Burning oils will come and fire arrows. New player areas will have a little bit more security. Alliance chat will not come with the first Unreal Engine 5 patch, but with the second one. More dungeons will be added over time. UI fixes will come with the next patch, especially Texas UI. The supporter package will not be available on Steam. I don't know why, but I guess because Steam takes 30%. And in the future, I highly recommend to make the subscription over the Mortal on a 2 website because, because Steam takes 30% of the money. After the epic game patch, the roadmap will be made. A lot of Star Wars employees take feedback seriously. Bounty Hunter cape will not be tradable. Fishing will get our own cape and own rewards for the fishing tasks. Much more rewards for tasks will come over time. Guild logo and emblem and die system will come. Henrik also explained kicking in doors will not come because if you can just enter a house without a lot of effort people will not build houses anymore. Subscription will start if you log in after the 28th of November 2023 then the free months will start after you logged in and more payment options will be available in the future in the, in the few future future ha <laughs> ha in the future. So thank you a lot for watching. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Would be awesome and share it with your friends. Would be really awesome. And you could also ring the bell. Oh, ring the jingle bells. Oh, oh shit. Christmas is not far away. What the fuck? And special thanks to all the supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor Lucario, Rodus, Patadax, Mip, Colombo, Lock, Giovanni, Vargas, Mip, Greta, you and all the others, of course. And never forget to make your jingle balls hot. Uh, I mean, I mean, party hard. <laughs> party hard. <laughs> See you all next time. Goodbye.